Babes, let me tell you something. Two things. Number one, this room is cold. It is cold. It is freezing. I am freezing. I am about to turn into an icicle, okay? Number two, someone told me to sleep in my bra throughout breastfeeding from the day I give birth until like forever to avoid sagging. We are here now. Eh? We are here now. I'm gonna try, gonna try, gonna try. Work till I die, till I die, till I die. I'm gonna fail and get up, cause I'm not giving up on my dream. Hey gorgeous and welcome to my channel. I'm Gopada Shimanga and this is how I do things. A show where you send me your questions and I'll let you know how I would do things and I can take it as entertainment, use it as advice, take it, don't take it, use it. Don't use it at all, darlings. Listen, do whatever you will with it. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because in that, me, egg. No professional, no professional whatsoever. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. There are a whole lot of things we just grow up hearing and listening to and you hear your friend telling you to do one thing and then you hear another person and you get an auntie who tells you to do this don't to avoid sagging and to do this and to do that for your bras and your breast muscles so that they stay perky and they stay right up there for your whole life who do this to make your boobs grow uh -huh. today i am busting a whole lot of busty myths there's a whole lot of things that we've been hearing throughout our lives there are things that we are telling our friends right now about our boobs, about our bras, that are straight up lies, girl. Waka, maka, out your mouth, lies. So today I'm going to tell you eight bras and boob myths we should stop telling each other, we should stop believing, and we should just say no next time somebody says this to us. Number one, your bra size is your bra size for life. Wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Even if you feel as though my boobs have not sagged, nothing has really happened, your cup size will change. Apart from weight, okay? A lot of us may gain a bit of weight around this area. That's what's going to change the 32, 34, 38 of the bra. But in terms of the cup size, which is your A, B, C, D, E, double D, double E, F onwards, that changes even if you feel as though nothing big has happened because of the way that your boobs may sag or that some of your bra tissue your breast tissue may go to the side it changes over time the same way your jean sizes are going to change because your jeans are either getting bigger or they're getting smaller our boobs are constantly moving the tissue is either going left right up or down so how we then put a cup on will also change so just because you've had your bra size measured once it's not good enough you need to go and have your bra size measured again to make sure that we're still good number two is for the big titty party all the ladies with the bigger bust representing can you share some with me okay no i'm joking <laughs> sometimes you may think that if you have a bigger bust, then you can only wear bras that have under wire only. Nope, is a lie, is a lie, is a lie. There are bras and bralettes that do not have wiring, so they're wireless bras that have bigger bands at the bottom and have reinforced mesh to make sure that you can still wear it. So if you have a bralette, for example, that's triangle and it's got mostly lacy, has not got any wiring underneath, you can actually wear that because it has a bigger band and it's reinforced and they have a thicker strap meaning that it will still give you the lift that you need and will still give you the support that you need without the wire there are bra bras that are made without wires that are reinforced specifically for ladies with bigger busts number two sleep with a bra on to avoid sagging I've heard this one before and I did it and I was uncomfortable but sometimes I was comfortable because my boobs got really big during breastfeeding and they were really uncomfortable to sleep with and I get it when you wear a bra when you go to sleep it's a bit more comfortable it's not as much of an issue as you twist and you turn throughout the night right however it's not really about the sagging more than it is about the comfort not really gonna help you with sagging if you sleep with a bra on because honestly you sleeping horizontally is not the issue versus you standing upright when it comes to sagging if you get what i mean so here's the thing with sleeping with a bra on if you sleep with a normal bra on when you go to sleep so your underwire bras all different types of bras 
then you are stopping your body from doing the natural flushing of toxins that it does and it also your body also flushes out the same toxins from your boobies so you need to give it that chance to do that so if you feel uncomfortable going to sleep without a bra on rather get tops like your jt's or tops that have bras underneath so any sleepwear that has built-in bras that do not have clips and offer a bit more breathability and a bit more stretch the problem with normal bras is they don't have the stretch sports bras may be too tight underwire bras are definitely not good to sleep in and you want to have something that's got a bit more stretch one of the hacks i got from somebody in my comment section was that she loves to wear nursing bras even though she does not nurse those bras are so comfortable. So if you find that you need to sleep with something, then maybe get yourself a nursing bra because it's looser than your sports bra and it's a bit more affordable than your seamless bras or get yourself a seamless bra that you can sleep in. That way, more stretch, more breathing and less hindrance for your body to flush out those toxins. Number four, new bras should fit on the tightest hook. Not the truth. We can't all be 32s, 34s, 36s, and 38s. All bras happen to be in even sizes. So you can't really find a size 35B. They don't exist. So that extra little centimeter in between the different hooks gives you a bit more breathing room. So just because a bra is new doesn't mean you have to wear it all the way on the tightest hook. You can wear it on the loosest hook and that's okay. Yes, sometimes bras still need to get a bit of time to get adjusted to your body, but that does not mean that your bra does not fit or that it is not a good fit for you just because you wear it on the last hook when you've just bought it. It's still okay. Number five, all breastuses, no matter what size, fit any and all bras just as long as the cup size is right. What a lie, my darling. What a lie. We are all very different. I feel like my sisters, Bettina and Bertha, they are so different, hey? And they are different from yours as well. We may both be size 34As, okay? Or 32As, ne? However, your bras may look different in a t-shirt bra compared to mine. I have a shallow top over here, meaning that most of my bra breast is at the bottom, right? While some people may be a bit more perky, so they're more full. So their bra tissue, their breast tissue is more rounded than others. This means that the both of us are going to fit in one style differently, even if we're the same size. So just because you have a specific size and they're like, yo, your breast size is perfect for this bra, doesn't mean it's going to fit perfectly. Here's the nice thing about bras. From all the bra styles, there's almost two alternatives per style. So even if you have a t-shirt bra, all t-shirt bras are made the same you can actually find an alternative, either slightly wider set or deeper set. Sometimes you may have an underwire bra that digs into your soul every single time that you wear it when you have one style. But if you were to wear a similar style, but the bra, the lining underneath is a bit wider or meets at a different point, then it won't dig into your soul in the same way. So our breasts are all different. You may have a little bit of breast tissue on the side, meaning that if you wear underwiring that finishes here, it may cause a double teddy type of situation, which we do not want. So you may need to find your underwiring that goes all the way to the side like this to help with that situation. But that's because we are all different. Look at your bras. Not all bras are made the same. So when you find a t-shirt bra, you can have your underwiring from halfway just to the edge or you can have it meet in the center and go all the way around. It depends on the style that works best for your cup. All boobs are different, very individual, so find the one that fits you best. We're not all going to be happy with every single type of bra that's out there, but there is an alternative for your specific titties. Number six. Padded bras add volume. Not all padded bras add volume. The current padded bra that I'm wearing, does it add volume? Yes, I love it. But here's the thing about padded bras. It's not just about adding size. It is about adding shape. So like I was saying, I'm a bit shallow at the top, a little bit heavier at the bottom. So when I wear a padded bra, it's about lifting that weight at the bottom to the top, giving me a more rounded boob appeal. You know what I'm saying? 
Sometimes your bra will look like it's adding more volume to you, but the thing about padding is that it's not about volume, it's about the shape, helping you get the shape that you want. So it's either pushing your boobs to the left, to the right, or up in order for you to get a specific style for your breasts to sit in. And this just links to number seven, which is probably the biggest myth out of them all, which is that bigger bust ladies should not wear padded bras. Not the truth. Again, padding is about shape. And a lot of the times people think that padding is about adding. And ladies who have a bigger bust are just like, I don't need to add any more to my bust. I'm very happy. Padding is about giving you the support to shape your breast in a specific way. So if you're like me and you're a bit shallow at the top and a bit hollow at the bottom, padding can help to have that shape move upwards to give you a more fuller look. It can help you to give more to the side so it pushes them towards the center. It can give you the padding. Remember, padding doesn't always have to push. Some padding is just there for shape. Some padding is just there to cover. So you may have a full bra that covers from the bottom right until here as a big bust lady. And that padding is there to give you, to give you that seamless look as opposed to pushing your breast in a specific way. So remember, don't stay away from padding because you're just like, ah, I'm a big bust lady. Try and experiment with padding. Remember, padding is not always to push. Padding is for that seamless shape and finish. Number eight is about shapewear and sports fits. Many people think that with a sports bra, with any seamless bras, and with all shapewear, that you should go a size down to get something that will support you better. It's a lie, it's all a lie. You will cut your blood circulation, man. Let's, let's be real here. When you buy shapewear, when they make it, they know that a lady of this size wants shapewear. So if you buy your size, it will be the tightness that it needs to be specifically for your size. Buying smaller shapewear can actually give you long-term effects that you do not want. As women, we shouldn't be wearing things that are overly too tight. They're bad for our blood circulation. They're bad for those veins. It just, it's not a good look and it's not that great for cellulite and all of those things. So if you want to keep your body healthy, you want to keep your skin healthy as well, and you want to keep the circulation going, then make sure to buy your sportswear as well as your shapewear in your size. They do make it slightly smaller to help you give that support already. So if you're a size 36 and you go buy a size 34, you're essentially buying a size 32 downwards because they've already slightly made it tighter for the purposes of that fit. So please, when you do go buy these, buy your size because that's how you're going to get the best results from your shapewear and your sportswear. All right, my honey, that is all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this one. I always love talking about our bras, our boobies, and the panties, darling. If you have any questions and you want me to add more to this bra series, please leave them in the comment section down below. And you know how this community works. The only way we grow, the only way we continue to help each other as sisters is if we share this. So the rule is you have to share this with one friend. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and don't forget to tag me at Kopano Shimange. But until next time, I'll see you later. Bye. Hey gorgeous, thank you so much for watching and thank you for making it right until the end. Now, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please click on this button right here. And if you feel like binge watching, the bra series is all here for you, darling. Until next time.